Hello everyone. So I was waiting for this topic uh, eagerly to start. So which is about uh, integrating Spring security in our application. So far, so we have seen this this architecture uh, diagram in in uh, like uh, previous to previous video. I have explained you this one. What is this all about? In this user service, we are going to have different controllers um, as per the functionality that we are exposing. The highlighted part that you are looking here. user controller in this user controller i have uh, created one endpoint which is about registering the user into the system and we have taken care of the password hashing which is the very important feature so now user is able to come and give its basic detail and we are able to save that detail into the system the next immediate task after this that uh, when user is coming back to our portal he is going to provide those username and password and our task is to validate that password uh, or that that credential accordingly give the response whether login is successful or it is failed so at this point of time we have to analyze we have to look at which are the open endpoints which mean uh, what are those endpoints that we can access without any verification and what are the endpoints that must not be allowed open access there should be some kind of security when user has given its credential only then we should allow that one okay so let's let's analyze let's put uh, put forward those endpoints and we'll uh, change this diagram and see how we can apply the security into this one and subsequently we will see the implementation of this one so let's get started so you uh, from last couple of videos i am creating this plant uml that i explained you just here so i am going to create that endpoint structure uh, that is also i can i can create very easily here so let me give it name file endpoints.puml okay so this this uh, uml design is very easy uh, you just go to the intellij plugin section and install the plant uml so this is the name plant uml that you are seeing here so this plant uml install it uh, in your intellij ide you will be able to uh, play around this uml diagram right so let's let's uh, uh, design our uh, endpoints decide about which are open endpoints and which are secure endpoints okay so uh, there are uh, different uh, different uh kind of diagram that we can put uh, in the uh, in the plant uml so mind map that i am going to create in this one okay and uh, in this one so the syntax is very easy you just have to uh, follow along and there is uh, if you go to online and see see this one this is this is very easy to follow along if you just see couple of diagram you will be able to see that so so you visualize we have endpoints and we have to categorize this endpoint into the open endpoint and secure endpoint and list that out it's it's the mind map that i have to create here so first one is uh, endpoints uh, so as long as uh, i am going to write it it is going to give me the respective diagram here okay so first one is going to be the open endpoint and then second one is going to be the secure endpoint so which are the endpoints that i want to open it so i think most of the things should be very obvious so first endpoint that we should allow user to get give its detail and registered with the system so very first endpoint is going to be the user register so i'm just giving the name of the endpoint the method obviously it is going to be the post method so just just put it here also that's not an issue Uh, so this is the first endpoint that we have to give, and when user has registered itself from the system, the second endpoint is that uh, search facility that I have to give. If user is coming and giving its uh, username, which we are considering as a now uh, email, we should allow to search that that uh, yeah you are registered with the system. So this is what uh, uh, the second endpoint that has to be open. Uh, because that search even when user is coming to register itself with the system we have to perform the search functionality that whether this this user is available or not so in that case also uh, we we have to provide this first functionality other other important information that we are taking uh, from the user is e uh, mobile number that is also kind of unique and we can we can provide that information here so mobile okay give the mobile number and and this search facility has to be open so this is this is about the user registration uh, creation and searching that user 
The next comes the update user update and user delete functionality, right? So, so how, how, so what do you think? So user has created its detail and it is, it wants to update that one. So when user has logged into the system, it has provided its basic detail. Only we must, only then we must allow to uh, update those information, right? And allow the user to get itself deleted from the system. So that is why it is going to come under secure endpoints. So just put, put that here. So user, uh, what, what I'm going to say update endpoints, right? So, and the next one is user delete endpoint. So this is uh, going to come under secure endpoints. So, so the next, next thing is here. So if you see this diagram, so we, we took care of this user controller, creating, updating and deleting. So the next one is that profile controller. So when user has given it's, it's all the basic information, we want to create its profile with more details, uh, like, uh, it's its profile image, bio or, or its interest, what, what it, so any, any kind of detail that we want in the profile. So all the profile endpoints has to be secured because when user gets registered into the system, only then profile is visible to give its detail. So all the endpoints of the profile has to be secured. So if you see profile create, uh, this is also secured. So if I copy it, create, if it wants to update any detail here and if it wants to remove itself from the system. So that delete functionality has also to be secured from in, into the system. So we took care of the profile part also. The last one is the, uh, last one is this uh, user verification controller. So where we have the functionality of login into the system. So user is registered into the system and now we have to allow the user to give its credential so that uh, we can log, we can, we can get other details. We can get other details about the, about the user, right? So the next, next endpoint is about login. So login, it's something that we have to keep it open so that user can provide its username and password. Okay. So that is what it is going to come under open endpoints. login so this uh, it is going to take the username and password going to perform the login so this is the user login uh, functionality so as of now uh, what what i think under the under the log verification or login controller only this thing i am able to think about that only only login is there uh, in future if we are going to provide a token information to the system uh, to perform the service to service communication and all those things we are going to integrate that here so but but for now uh, the picture should be clear uh, what what i am trying to communicate here right so these are the endpoints this endpoints uh, we are going to categorize open and secure and these are the open endpoints that we have and these are the secure endpoints okay so the application so far that we have built here so if i show you the architecture uh, the uml of the architecture so that is here okay the it, it is the same diagram that you were seeing in the ppt itself right so it is uh, you see client uh, client is directly calling the user controller verification and here there is no security mechanism in its it place but we have to apply some security mechanism at, at this point here so let's integrate that so i am directly going to edit this this configuration here so these are the some some couple of inf I'll, I'll uh, give the tutorial or, or some some other set of uh, videos about uh, plant email but but you can see this uh, uh, yourself and get the understanding it's it's very easy to do okay so uh, so just just I have to integrate this here so this this client is calling this user controller and apart from this user controller the, I have to create an, in this one so what what I can do class user service security this is the class name that i want to give here and uh, this uh, this this is something that uh, this user service configuration and i have to connect it with the client here so this same line is going to be here with some editing so user service configuration is going to be here okay 
and this user service configuration will connect to the user controller here you see and i also have to remove remove these calls profile controller and here this one so wherever we have that call so just remove this one here and i do not need this line you see the diagram changing here uh, call call is not needed here so just remove this one so to make the consistency so now all the clients call are going through this user service uh, security configuration so usually uh, i'm trying to uh, i'm uh, trying to explain the visualization how it will happen usually when user service has started once it started at the time of a starting all the configuration that we have given configuration about security endpoints uh, that we have so which endpoints to allow so by default it is it is the best practice of the security by default when you when we are integrating spring security or any any kind of security by default all the endpoints uh, should not be allowed access they, they should be restricted only specific endpoints that we want to keep open allow that specifically that these are the open endpoints other than these anything that you try to access those will require credential so it will it will make our application very very much secure because all the default things we have make made that secure and on on the need basis i am opening uh, opening the things as as needed okay so that is what is going to be taken care in the user service security configuration and after putting this user security configuration in this architecture itself there is there is lots of details that are going to come into picture like uh, uh, like spring security internal architecture so actually uh, in this series of videos we cannot cover the internals of spring security but as needed uh, what are the pieces that are needed that i am going to implement in the in the next video immediately after this one but but there there is going to be a separate spring security tutorial where where uh, we will go a very basic details uh, from very basic details to to high level detail uh, to do very deep levels okay to get the proper understanding but as needed whatever needed for this this piece of uh, you know, this series i'll i'll explain that in in detail in in further videos okay so don't worry about that that it is it is not going to clear and at any point of time you have any confusion any doubt comment section is open for that so just just put that there i'll i'll come to you okay so this is what that we are going to hear user security configuration user service and it is going to take care of uh, all those things uh, user service and before accessing any any part of the application this is the front uh, front line kind of it has to pass that one okay and one more thing uh, in this diagram be integrated user service we had you password service here as well right so that is that is what it can come here in the picture but i'm not going to add here because when we are going to add spring security that is that is structure is also going to be changing uh, a couple of times right so just just not not disturb this architecture so whatever that we have as of now it, it looks good and we are going to implement that in the next video so yeah that's all about this video let me know in the comment section uh, what you think about this one and uh, any more detail any 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 doubt any confusion uh, please please put that in comment section so i'll see you in the next one take care bye bye